Tim's taking selfies. <laughs> All right, on to destination number two right here. With T Mac back. T Mac back. We are headed towards Devil's Kitchen. And here's some signage info on it. Wait, right right, Tim found the spot. There we go. So we're here. So it's only about a five minute walk, which is nice. And there's, I believe, two caches near there. Actually, three technically, if you want to get the virtual too. Or Earth Cache. Virtual Earth. One of the two. We'll find out. Man, the views though, you guys cannot beat this here. It is so nice looking. We're approaching the kitchen. A little bit of a trek, not too bad. I think it's mainly the altitude. Whoa. Crazy. So basically, I guess it was kind of like a sinkhole, just There's like collapsed. It, right? Yeah, Tim, read up, be our tour guide. Let's climb on up here. It's cool, especially here being on the weekday because there's nobody really here. It's just crazy. And my camera's about to die. Dang, it keeps going. Whew! So apparently this happened actually while people were living here. Uh, some people talked about their family heard the crash of this uh, caving in. And dust going off in the air and smoke and stuff. Man, it's just like, whew! That is a drop. I think it's just cool that big slab piece that just sits over there. I know. So that's a cool hole now, but uh there's only one reason we would come to go see a giant hole. Not to look at the hole. To find geocaches. There's two nearby, so we're gonna hit up one just off the trail here, and then we'll hit one back that's literally right at there. There's some people that kinda showed up, so we'll let them enjoy it. And then we'll come back. A little bit more this way. Watch out for the cactus. Uh. Mm. Six hours later. All right, so. This is definitely a challenging one, even though it seemed like most common sense place to look. We're all looking in these crevices, hanging maybe. And I just see, I see the stick and that immediately kind of gave me like an idea of like, is that pointing me in the direction of where it might be? Right. So I flipped this bad boy over. Watch the cactus. Yeah, watch the cactus. And there we go. Nothing big, but it's a cache though. Find to find. It's just a pill bottle probably with a log. Yep, a little log in there. Cool. Sweet. Found it. Good job. Good job. Fresh cash. <laughs> well, you, at least you were right about uh, looking over here. Yeah. Because I was off over here looking and driving. Yeah, the coordinates again were throwing us off, so luckily somebody shared coordinates because it was off for them. So I threw it on Google Maps and it threw me right where I was standing. So I was like, okay, it's got to be this bush right here. Sure enough. Good find. Good find. Moving on. Yep. So we got another one uh, right near the sinkhole. So we're going to go try to get that one too. And uh, yeah, it's a good day. Leading the way. Leading the way. Leading the way. Mm -hmm.
bet I could find it without my phone. Maybe. I'm not good. I'm not good. But I am on top of it. <laughs> There's a. Uh... Here, I'll just I'll, I'll show you from there. <laughs> if you want. Yep. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up uh, the Devil's Kitchen area caches, but we're gonna keep going on this Soldier Pass trail here because there's some, get some more cool shots to see and another cache as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, see you guys next week. Until next time, Jason and Tim here. Crush. <sighs> Crush the catch. One On three. We're gonna get this by one of these videos. <laughs> one, two. Three. Crush, Crush the, the cash. You did it. Yeah.